Hello and welcome back to another DIY video. Today we're going to be working on my Tudor Black Bay. This is the Harrods edition, so you, this can only be purchased through the retail facility Harrods in the UK. Um, so obviously you have to get on the waiting list um, and then of course make that trip to London to pick something like this up. Trademark um, Green. I think it's a nice alternative to Starbucks Submariners or of course just the uh, iconic Hulk. But what we're doing on this piece is we're going to be changing out some links to resize the bracelet just at first glance you'll notice that it has these little rivets but I'll show you how to do that here in just a moment with some basic tools but before we get started make sure you give me that thumbs up to help the YouTube algorithm don't forget to subscribe to the channel in the bottom right hand corner and I'll go over some tools you'll need here in just a moment so some tools you're gonna need is something like this I picked this up from Harbor Freight it's about seven bucks so it should be very affordable affordable the pick we're using or the bit we're going to be using is this right here where it says 1 16th and this is of course a flat blade right there and pretty easy straightforward just goes into this other end right here there's a little green swivel you just kind of this is usually how I place my hand placement I mean I put my index finger up here and I just tw turn like that but let's get started on the bracelet all right, so we're, we're going to go ahead and get started. You don't need a microfiber cloth, of course. I just put it down to avoid getting scratches. But depending on what your wrist size is, mine's at uh, 18 centimeters, so that's about 7.5 inches. You'll see these little rivets down here. Just look for the flat blade area or portion. You stick this right there. Whoops. Make sure they zoom it in so you can see it better. Obviously take your time so you don't scratch up your bracelet because it's whoops. Not very they're not very cheap. Yeah. I think that's out. Okay. That's what this looks like. That should take it apart, sure does. So what you're gonna do now is obviously just uh, put it on your wrist, see how many you need to take out. I, uh, oops, let me do it like this. I usually try to keep this even or as even as possible. And then just remove however many you need to remove. And I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. It's the same process, though. Do the same thing on the other side. All right, so it looks like I only had to remove, well, not only, but it was, kind of, it was a lot. So I had to remove two on this bottom side, and I moved two on the other side. But to reinstall it, you just do it like that. Take your screw-in pin or fastener. Whoops. Just gotta be patient in this process because it's like small stuff, so. Okay, I'm just wiggling a little bit. You'll see me. Alright, I think it's seating properly. Alright. And this part's kinda easy, but you just screw it back in. Some folks I do know put on some uh Loctite. I am not gonna do that personally. I like to kind of hold my fingers like this so that it doesn't roll off the tip. Okay. Great. Looks like I scratched mine, even though I literally just told everyone to be careful. It's okay though. Zoom back out, see how it fits. Zoom back even more. All right. 
well I'm good with the way that fits so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video again if you like this video make sure give me that thumbs up to help with the YouTube algorithm don't forget to subscribe to the channel in the bottom right hand corner again this process should be the same for pretty much any Tudor, Tudor Black Bay again mine is the Harrods edition so it is that trademark Harrods green green thanks for watching